just letting you guys know a new episode of the podcast comes out every single Thursday. And if you have a question you want featured on the podcast, you can tweet me at no bleeps pod. Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Oh my gosh, you guys, Jeffree Star is in some drama and for once it wasn't him actually doing something bad. Well, I don't know. There's obviously some people that are pretty skeptical of the situation of whether or not he's telling the truth. But you guys, right now there is this story going around that Jeffree Star, the person that he's been hanging out with the people that think is like his new boyfriend or, you know, whatever, his new ex-boyfriend, that's what I'm going to say, has like robbed him. And I I can't even process the fact that this is the story we're talking about. Like, this was something I didn't think was going to happen today. But here we are. We're talking about Jeffree Star potentially maybe having gotten robbed by the person that he was hanging out with. And Jeffree tried to say in an Instagram story when he addressed this that he's unbothered. But I know that Jeffree has to be bothered by this because this man is bothered by literally every single thing. And if you are unbothered, you're not going to go on Instagram and comment on this person's Instagram and blast the situation you're gonna like pretend like you're unbothered and try to handle it behind the scenes or something but the whole reason why this story got out and kind of crazy was because someone shared a screenshot of jeffrey commenting i believe on the guy he's been hanging out with instagram and the comment on instagram said hey since you can't answer the phone right now can you give me all the stuff back that you stole from my house what kind of low life scum does that give it back if you need a return label just ask so that comment sent a lot of people into a lot of confusion and then someone actually quote tweeted this and said but i just saw them walking out the gas station together so what's really the truth so then people started to think is this fake like what is really going on and it turns out that i guess jeffrey really did comment this on instagram it must not have been them at the gas station because jeffrey went on to his instagram story and he literally addressed the situation and he said that he really did have some things taken from him like louis vuitton suitcases and glasses i just hopped on twitter and there's a lot of Jeffree Star got robbed. Jeffree Star got this and that. Let me tell you what the Jeffree Star did and didn't do. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate, but sometimes when you meet people, <gasps> surprise, they're not who they say they are. <laughs> so y'all, real quickly, Jeffree Lynn got a little played. So I've been hanging out with someone, just two grown adults having something serious, but I was presented a whole different person than, than who this man really was. So, and that's fine. Y'all, y'all, y'all know out there, I'm sure a lot of you out there have dated or dealt with or even hung out with some shady people, I guess. Me. <laughs> so, about a week ago, Jeffrey Lynn uh, discovered a lot of things, and this person uh, secretly had uh, no job, no money not even a bank account. And we're talking this person's 30 years plus. So all these things that I were told were all false. Um, and I was lied to and I was like, okay, bye sweetie. It was really good meeting you. Thanks. Bye. Um, and then all of a sudden, there's some Louis Vuitton uh, luggage missing. Um, there's some backpacks missing and there's a few sunglasses missing. So and he tried to say that it wasn't about the value for him and he didn't want to seem like he was coming off as like, oh my God, me and my money. It's more about the fact that he was like lied to by this person and that he really was hanging out with someone that was lying about who they are. So Jeffrey Star got robbed. No, someone just stole a few things. Now, I know, Jeffrey, you can just rebuy it. I'm not complaining about no value, no money. It's just a principle. I don't care if someone steals a nickel off your counter. It's wrong. Um, and if you revel and enjoy anything, if you enjoy bad news for anyone, including me, you're, you're sick. Cause I logged on Twitter and y'all, some people are like, yes, someone got him, him. I'm like, there's a special place for you. Um, but yeah, so some design stolen from me and it isn't about what it is it's just about the principle it's just sad um so instead of answering the phone this person was just posting like they were still at my house driving uh, a car that they moved once in the parking lot i'm like so weird 
So I just wanted my stuff back. It's all good. I'm sure I'm never gonna get it. I know I can go rebuy it tomorrow. Um, it's just weird. Honestly, I think the part about this entire situation that is like embarrassing, I guess, is that a lot of people try to tell Jeffrey, hey, maybe you should be careful because this guy, I mean, when they originally were hanging out and they were getting together, there was someone who I believe is like a girlfriend. A lot of people were saying his wife. I think it's like his girlfriend or baby mama that, you know, she came out and was like, he just left me and his son and his son is like a baby just to be with Jeffrey to get money. And a lot of people were saying, oh my gosh, Jeffrey is paying this man. Jeffrey is giving this guy money. He's only with him for the money and Jeffrey is getting used. And Jeffrey was defending this guy like no other. Like he was really defending him every single second of the day on his Instagram story, trying to say, you know, everything that's coming out is lies, 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 lies. You guys don't know him. He's spending time with his kid and and he is like a good man. And, and don't worry who I'm s no, take it easy, y'all. Take it easy. Jeffrey Lynn is enjoying herself. And some of y'all hate to see joy, but are y'all worried about it? I'm still so take a deep breath, honey. I'm just gonna say it once. The person I'm hanging out with has never been married. He's not married. I'm just currently hanging out with someone, y'all. We're just having a good time. People are crazy like, y'all stole this man from his um, baby mama and his child. I'm like, did y'all see him anywhere? Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. He's in Atlanta visiting. Yes, Andre's in Atlanta visiting his son. Um, he didn't leave his child for me. He isn't a horrible father. I'm like, people love to believe whatever they want to believe, girl. <laughs> um, we hang out every week or two. We've been hanging out for a few months. And girl, the thing is, you gotta wake up every day and just live your life. Um, just know that Jeffrey Lynn is in a really good headspace. And I mean, Jeffrey took him everywhere. They went to like Wyoming together. When Jeffrey was looking at properties all over, they were hanging out. They were always posting pictures together. So, I mean, it really didn't seem like he was paying for anything. Like it was Jeffrey's jet and Jeffrey was buying him clothes. Like they were wearing matching outfits and stuff. Like I really don't think that this guy was wearing a tracksuit because he wanted to wear a tracksuit. I think that Jeffrey bought him a tracksuit because all Jeffrey wears is tracksuits. So I think that Jeffrey just really never really had the opportunity opportunity to have this guy show him that he has money. Jeffrey confronted him about all the things that people were saying about him. Like he has no money and he has no job. But at the end of the day, like this guy just kind of told him like all those were rumors and fake stories and lies and that he did have stuff of his own and he had like a job or whatever. And clearly he has just taken stuff from Jeffrey according to Jeffrey. Obviously, there's people that are very skeptical of whether or not Jeffrey is telling the truth in this situation just because of Jeffrey's past. And a lot of people are saying things like, you know, ha ha ha, he's getting what he deserves, laughing about it. And obviously, Jeffrey is not very happy that people are talking about him that way and happy to see him get used like this. Now, you know, this is obviously a very terrible situation. And if this actually did happen where this person took things from Jeffrey and Jeffrey was being very confident to this person that really sucks and it's unfortunate and I mean I would certainly wouldn't want to be in that situation myself obviously this guy hasn't come out and said anything about the situation so I can't really give a side to the story from that angle I know that Jeffrey earlier was kind of hinting that things were going on and the reason why people were kind of believing that the comment on the Instagram the screenshot was real was because he put on his story every time i started trusting someone god slapped the back of my neck with his sandal and that is what made people think maybe something is actually going on in his life and that this comment is real but honestly you guys i have no idea <laughs> this situation is crazy it's unexpected i didn't think that we were going to be talking about something like this today um, it's very clear that Jeffrey is definitely not going to be hanging out with this person anymore because, well, I mean, that'll definitely stop some communication. That is for sure. So I definitely want to know what you guys think about this entire situation. It is certainly a crazy one. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>